The sun is almost setting now. This is Sumida River. This river became a sister river of the Seine River in Paris. So, so this statue was given by France as a token of friendship. Over there, you can see sky tree, a broadcasting tour, which is 634 meters high, the tallest building in Japan. So, when you are cycling in Tokyo, don't worry, there are a lot of turret rooms. I found one of them. This one is a turret. Okay, there are two cubicles and it's really smelly. But it's good. You know, there are two laboratories, kind of, and two people can pee together and wash their hands at the same time. Okay. By the way, you can use this for free. It's, it is operated by the local government or municipality. What is more, the toilet paper is available. Yes, we have an extra. I'm in Tsukuda now. This is a small island. It is isolated from the mainland of Tokyo and this area used to be a part of sea and over the past few centuries this area has been reclaimed with garbage and this is one of the oldest towns in Tokyo as you can see some buildings are very old because they escaped great areas during the Second World War This street is now exclusive to pedestrians. Can you see these apartments? They are not only one, but more than one. So these are all Olympic village for the 2020 Olympics. So they are still under construction and there are about 4,000 rooms, 4,000 single rooms for Olympic athletes. We are waiting for you guys to come to Tokyo this summer. So that one is Fuji Television, Fuji Broadcasting Company. And this one is Rainbow Bridge because this bridge is lit with seven different colors. Every hour, its color changes. And this is a tower, Tokyo Tower which used to be a broadcasting tower. Now I'm in Harumi Wharf, which is one of the most popular places for a date. A lot of ships from all over the world come to this wharf. So because of that, this building has an immigration center. I'm in Tsukiji, uh, where an uh, old fish market used to be built, but it was located to another place, Toyotsu, two years ago. And in front of the previous fish market, you can see shrine, Namiyoki Shrine. This shrine was built by a fishery organization who wanted to bless, who wanted to bless the weirds, a good rock. The first character, Nami, means raising weight, and the second character, Yoke, means avoid. So, this is a shrine to avoid raising waves. So, it's a huge sissy or koma inu. 
an imaginary animal you may see at the Japanese shrine. This one is a boy. And it's a girl, maybe his wife. Because as you can see, she has black teeth, which are called ohaguro. Because in the old times, women in the Edo period painted their teeth black after they got married to show their respect to their husbands. They are various kind of statues. But they are so cute. These are seven deities. So this building is a Kabuki theater. Kabuki is a home of classical Japanese theater. Interestingly, all the roles are played by men, even female roles are played by male actors. Because in the Edo period, there was a popular female kabuki actress, but she was so popular that a lot of porn stars tried to mimic her with their skin exports. But the shogunate was concerned about a public disorder, but since then, it has been prohibited. This is an accommodation. So this is a Japanese Buddhist temple, Tsukiji Hongan's temple. The architecture of this building was a professor of the Tokyo University, one of the most prestigious universities in Tokyo, uh, in Japan. He traveled through India, so that is why this building is stood in their Indian style. I finally arrived at the Tokyo station. This is my destination. Looking at the other side, you can see. Maybe you can see, but it's it's too dark. You can see the Imperial Palace. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.